is celebrating 100 years of telling the world stories, running iconic covers, and recognizing cultural luminaries. Always topical, always relevant, now in 2023 as it was in 1923. And where better for a legendary magazine deeply rooted in American history to celebrate the milestone than at the New York Stock Exchange, yet another cultural and historical institution. Time's ties to the New York Stock Exchange span decades, dating all the way back to 1964, when its then parent company began trading here on the floor. Time published its first issue on March 3rd, 1923. When you look at that very first issue of Time from 1923, it has a, it has a border around the person on the cover, and that's what we do still today. We, focus on people who change the world. Back then, Time was a magazine explicitly for, quote, busy men. Since then, female leaders, visionaries, celebrities, and trailblazers have graced its covers. And now, a woman is at the helm. It's my 100th day as being the CEO of Time, and it means so much that there's only 10% of CEOs that are women. Uh, and that's an at all time record and that weighs heavily on me and I take it as a big responsibility to bring in new leaders uh, at, at time and throughout my whole career. While time remains committed to storytelling moving into its second century, the ways it reaches its audience continues to evolve. In 1923, 32 page magazine went to 9,000 people in the mail. Today we have still a magazine, the biggest in print in the US, million three subscribers, but a website, social presence, a global events platform, a climate action platform, 25% uh, of our business today is films and documentaries. So we have an audience that our founders couldn't even have imagined for time. Um, 100 million plus all over the world. And through its Time Studios division, the media giant is bringing its stories to life on screen. So leaving the past in the past and really kind of looking ahead to the future, how are you going to make sure that time really stands the test of time? Well, over the last hundred days, I've had the opportunity to travel the world for time. Everyone has a time story. The meaning of this brand, how many years people have been reading time, and we just need to bring these stories into different ways and different formats. I think Time Studios is an incredible example of that. We launched Time Studios uh, two years ago, 100 million in revenue just in two years, and 25% of our overall revenue. Well, I think the one thing that has never changed in 100 years and will bring through the next 100 is our commitment, unwavering to telling the stories of the world through the people who shape the world. That's really what we do. 